Hey guys, so today it's going to be a review on the new CoverGirl Outlast oh, Fabulous 3-in-1 Foundation Sunscreen at SPF 20. So this is what it looks like. This was um, $12.97 at Walmart. And what, what completely caught my eye is it had a pump. So any foundation, drugstore foundation as a pump, automatically a win in my book. So it claims... Um, Lasting power of a primer, coverage of concealer, and blendability of a foundation in one. Shine free, and that's awesome. Because I don't like having a shine. And it's made in the U.S. with foreign parts. Alright, that's awesome to know too. <laughs> Alright, so I'm in, I tried the color 910 in Classic Ivory. So to apply my foundation, I always, always, always use this buffer kabuki round kabuki brush this is from sigma and it's the f what is it the f82 and she's really dense so it's a great foundation and i just cleansed my face moisturized and toned and so yeah it's fresh like what i would normally do before i apply foundation i'm just gonna take one pump one pump <laughs> okay so this is one pump so definitely it distributes a good amount because I know sometimes when they pump, it pumps out like this. It just pumps out way too much and then you end up wasting some of it. So I like how it pumps out a very small amount. So I'm just going to work with this for now and then I'm going to see how it blends. So let's get started. And as you can tell, I do have a lot of acne scarring. So it looks like it's covering it up. And it matches my face actually really well. Very surprised. <laughs> Alright, so this is the half of my face that's done. This is not. And it did cover quite a bit. I would definitely say it, it is a, a, like a concealer. And it's not... It's not like sticky. You know how some foundations you put on and it's kind of sticky while it's setting for a while? It's still setting right now, but it's... I want to say... I tried it on my hand when I was at Walmart, and I kind of... I kept it on because I didn't wash my hands, like, right away. And I noticed it felt kind of like a powder as it dried, so... I'm thinking this would be good for oily skin people. So I'm just going to do one more pump and do the other side of my face. blend into your ears and hairline as well. Just blend it down to your neck. So the color, I would say the color matches very, very well. Mm -hmm. It looks pretty good. So I'm going to do the rest of my face and then I'll come back and show you guys. Alright, so I'm done with my makeup. Um, I would say it is definitely a cream or liquid to powder finish because it does not feel oily whatsoever. It doesn't feel wet. It did take a little bit of time to set, but it is set now. Um, and yeah, I'm, I really like it so far. Because I know the Revlon Color Stay one, even the oily skin one, it does take a really long time to set. I know it stays kind of wet and dewy on your face and sticky for quite some time. So, really loving this one. And I'm not wearing any consistent so as you can see most of my redness is covered actually all of my redness is covered up so that is really good because I know I have a lot of problems with the redness on my cheeks and stuff so yeah all right so that's it for this part of the video I'm probably gonna do a check-in uh, later at the end of the night before I go to sleep and then I'll let you guys know how it did throughout the whole day um, I also just want to say, I just recently got the Naked 2 palette, wow, and that's what I did my makeup with, I just did a very light brown, kind of fresh, smoky looking eye, um, so it's very light, but I am going to be getting another one for you guys, and I'm going to be doing a giveaway, so this is the Naked 2, I love this one a lot better than the Naked, original Naked, just because I hate, like, fabric, and, like, I just, I like things to be clean, you know. 
So yeah, we'll be giving that away and that'll be fun. But I'm gonna be, I'm gonna go now. So here is just a close up of what it looks like. So it looks, it looks really good. And it's not shiny at all, like it says. Shine free. Yeah, my face looks matte as can be. So I would definitely not use this if you're going for a more dewy kind of foundation finish, but yeah, if you have oily skin, I definitely, so far, so far, recommend this foundation. <laughs> so I'll check in back at the end of the night before I go to sleep, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye! <laughs> Alright guys, so let's ignore the fact that my hair looks like this. Um, I have these really difficult to work with bangs. So, what is now? It was, I don't know if I said this, but it was, um... 3.14 when I started filming the foundation and it is now 8.30 so um it definitely I'm sorry you guys can't see um I definitely like it it's definitely one of my favorite foundations at this very moment um it is not oily at all which is very strange because usually my face like my t-zone oh my goodness it's like oil crazy it's like shine I have to use like five blotting papers and it's so bad and I have no primer underneath this I have no concealer and it held up very well because I know sometimes I have to wear a primer under my uh, foundation otherwise it just melts off my face and there's no point to even wearing the foundation because by the end of the night or by the end of the day, like when I'm coming home from work, or like even halfway through the work day, it's like just gone. So this held up really well. I'm actually really shocked. I have never even seen a foundation in the drugstore. Mm. Wow. I'm sorry about that. Definitely love it. And I like how it stayed in place. It didn't move. It's not oily. It's not shiny, as you can tell. There is absolutely no shine on the face. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, say this foundation is awesome. I love it. Good job, CoverGirl. I've always thought of CoverGirl as like a cheap, like a cheap teenager brand. I'm not like I'm a teenager, whatever. I'm only 18, but that's besides the point. Because I know I used to buy their powder. Oh, well, this one's my sister's. But their powder and like, I don't know. I just, I've tried a few of their products and I was just not impressed. I feel like it's really cheap. And it's definitely like a rated drugstore makeup. Because it's, it's not even worth it. Yeah, I think that's the only cover girl thing I own. Oh no, I bought some liquid. I bought... I bought this concealer, so I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, I definitely love this. This is my, I'm gonna be wearing this every day now. It, so this is what it looks like, and I'm in the color. Oh, okay, that's awesome. So I'm in the color classic ivory nine ten. I am loving this foundation and I recommend you guys go buy it. I don't know if I'd recommend it for dry skin just because it does dry like a powder and it's not going to give your face the um, dewiness that I know a lot of people with dry skin like. Um, I mean it's a good it's a good foundation. I definitely recommend it. But especially recommend it to oily skin people because I have insane oilness and this doesn't really specify whether it's for um, whether it's for oily skin, dry skin, or combination skin, I'm just gonna lift up the cover here and see. Don't swallow it. Apply before sun exposure. Avoid eye contact. Do not swallow. Um, but the part that really concerns me is that made in made it with U.S. foreign parts. I don't I don't know what that's supposed to mean. It really frightens me. Yes. Good job, CoverGirl. It has pump. It lasts. It don't need a primer. It's got SPF. I haven't tried the Flash 
because I know when sometimes when you have SPF, it'll flash and you'll have like this white mask over your face, and that's not attractive. Trust me, I've been there, done that. I haven't tried that. Um, I'm gonna try it right now on my iPhone, actually. So I'll show you guys the picture. So on flash, all right. All right, so let's see. Oh wow, that's actually really good. There's no white cast at all. It actually is really good. Like, I don't know if you guys will be able to see this, but let me turn my light off. But you guys probably can't see because of the screen, but there is no white cast. Oh my goodness, that is actually awesome. There's quite a large amount of SPF in there, and a lot of um, foundations that have SPF in it do leave a white kind of blanket over your face when you use flash photography. A lot of great things about this foundation, and I definitely recommend it. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and make sure to hit subscribe and like if you want to see more, and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye!